India is emerging as a global semiconductor manufacturing hub. AI bots like ChatGPT have higher energy demands than many countries. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most interesting ones in a tech wrap. Semiconductor manufacturing se jude kareeb 1.5 lakh crore rupees ke teen bade projects ka shilanyas hua hai. Recently, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in India's Tech Aid Ships for Vikasit Bharat program. He laid the foundation stone for three semiconductor projects worth about 1.25 lakh crore Indian rupees. The three semiconductor units will be established at the Dholera in Gujarat, Moregao in Assam, and Sanand in Gujarat. These facilities will help strengthen India's semiconductor ecosystem. Artificial intelligence eats up a lot of electricity. The power-hungry AI tools like ChatGPT have raised concerns about their energy demands. According to a new report, ChatGPT uses 17,000 times more electricity than an average US household in a day. Understand that an average US household uses around 29 kilowatt hours daily, and ChatGPT on the other hand is using more than half a million kilowatt hours of electricity. But why does ChatGPT require this much electricity? To respond to 200 million requests a day. Now imagine this, if Alphabet were to integrate AI into every Google search, it could lead to an annual electricity consumption of 29 billion kilowatt hours. That's more than the yearly energy consumption of countries like Kenya, Guatemala and Croatia. The environmental impact of the AI revolution is coming into focus. Therefore, along with innovative AI tools, we need ideas to make generative AI greener. Care home resident Catherine Fee lives with dementia in Sydney. She enjoys chatting with staff and other residents. And now she has a new companion, Viv. Her main role is to give comfort and companionship to people living with dementia. Living with dementia has its challenges, but I try to make the most of each day. Some days I feel a bit forgetful and get lost in my thoughts, but other times I feel a sense of clarity and connection. It's a journey, you know? This programming can also be tailored to meet the specific needs or interests of a person. It can also help soothe a patient who is becoming restless or is feeling depressed. The researchers wanted to make the AI character as relatable as possible to its users. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. I'm so glad we had this opportunity to connect. Remember, I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. Google is restricting AI chatbot Gemini from answering questions about the global elections set to happen this year. The company has taken this decision to avoid potential missteps in the deployment of the technology. When asked about the election, such as the upcoming US presidential matchup between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, this is how Gemini responded. I'm still learning how to answer this question. In the meantime, try Google search. The update comes at a time when advancements in generative AI include image and video generation, which have fanned concerns of misinformation and fake news among the public.